Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Prayaxis, and I'm back with another video, man. And in this one here, I know I'm about to spawn a whole lot of Yan demons with this one, but I'm going to teach you guys how to use BO3 Yan in UFC 4. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with his perks. He has Fast Hands, Predators, No Cigar, and Force of Nature. Feel free to pause the video if you want to read re each and every one of those individually. Now, we'll go over to his stand up stats and. <sighs> Phenomenal. His power, his speed, his blocking, head movement, the footwork, the switch stance, the takedown defense, the kick power, and the kick speed, everything is high. Just look at it. It's ridiculous, but I respect it because he's shown this. <laughs> he's shown this. Now, we go over to the grappling stats. And you do see he isn't that great with grappling. I mean, it isn't terrible, but it isn't that great. The takedown is 91. Top control is 92, which is pretty decent, but his submissions are only a 90. I mean, at 87, and his submission defense is high. It's a 92. Ground strike in 90. Clinch strike in 87. And then the clinch control is only a 91, but that isn't bad. Now, this is what also makes him so brawlic. It's his health stats. His cardio is 94. His chin is 95. Body 92. Legs 90. And then the recovery is 93. So the weakest thing he has is his legs, and that's still a 90. So... Yan is so tough to put away, man. So tough. Now, we'll go over to his top moves, and you can see he has level 5 boxing combinations. His cross is level 5. His overhand is level 4. His lead overhand is level 4. And then his roundhouse to the head is going to be a level 4 strike as well. Now, I'm going to go ahead and jump into practice mode so we get a little bit more analysis on P.O. 3 Yan. Okay? Let's go. All right, so we're going to click start, scroll down to game help, view moves. Now, you do see his jab is only at level 3, but the cross level 4, the lead hook level 4, the rear hook is level 3. Okay, and I'm not going to read each and every one of these individually. I'll point it out the things that stand out. And um, some of these were already read. That um, Overhand, we already read that one. And his top moves, level 4 strike. He has spinning elbow, he has the lead overhand, the level 4 as well. Now, everything is basically fair when it comes to his boxing. Now, we go over to his kicks, and you can see everything is fair here, too. Level 3 going down, but the lead roundhouse to the head is only going to be a level 2. The rear level 4, as we've seen in the top moves. And he has front kicks, lead side kicks. Okay, ducking roundhouse. He has an oblique kick. Has knees. Has flying knee. Lead switch kick. Okay, so he has uh, pretty good kicks, and also they're not bad either. Now we go over to his clinching, and you see level 3 going down. The clinch elbows are level 4, but everything else is level 3 besides the lead collar tie clinch. Now we go over to his takedowns, and this is probably... <sighs> he has the Ostagari trip, man. I hate this trip. I'm sorry. He has a single leg, double leg, level three. Power power single is level three, and then the power double is level two. Then the wrestling takedown is level three, and then the BJJ slash judo takedowns is going to be level four. Now we go over to his ground, and the ground straight is level four. Then the ground hooks are level three, and then to the body. So basically, everything is level three besides the um the ground straights. We go over to the submissions, and you do see arm bars level 1, orthodox chokes level 1, and then guillotines are level 3. Again, his submissions stat is only a 87. Now, we go over to his combos, and as we've seen before, he has level 5 boxing combinations. Now, personally, I won't be using these combinations that's all the way down here, like lead upper body hook, lead by, like, these combinations will get you in trouble. I'm going to be throwing safe combinations, and I'll unload combinations that are efficient. And I'll show you guys those things in this fight. Now, you can use Yan in multiple ways. You can kickbox with him. Uh, Muay Thai, I tie Muay Thai into kickboxing. So that's the same type of style. And I'll show you guys in these fights based on who I'm going against and how they play. Now, possibly I'll be doing some Yan mirrors. So we'll just see. All right. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into some ranked matches, guys. If you do enjoy any parts of the video, don't forget to like up. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. And also, don't forget to turn on those post notifications, man. Hit the bell, all notifications. Let's get into some ranked matches. Okay, so here we go. We're actually going against somebody on a second account. And um, he has 2,400 points. So, definitely going to be a fun one. He's using TJ Dillashaw. And when you go against TJ, you don't kickbox with him. You you pressure box TJ. Uh, you nullify his uh, footwork and nullify all his outside strikes with pressure. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it without having to sit there and block break off fight. Now, again, I'm not going to judge people to block, 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 uh, blah, that block break, but I'm going to judge you, okay? But here we go, man. You can see he started off the fight with a low kick. 
but here we go back to the pressure we also know tj doesn't have great blocking and keep in mind again we have a level four cross overhands both our overhands are level four boom okay body hooks and uh we're just gonna pressure him with the jab crosses real quick strikes because when you play somebody like tj and they have real good footwork it's kind of hard to land on them consistently unless they're standing there for you to land on them so if they're consistently moving you got to use your quick strikes and his quick strikes are jab crosses uh and like the lee hooks you can see i'm just pressing with distance i'm not looking to break his block not consistently throwing jabs to his block to make him commit and then go round strike but I'm also not being too predictable with what I'm doing. And then boom, I mix up a combination in there. He goes to my body, goes up top. Okay, and notice that I'm utilizing feints as well. You don't be a pressure fighter if you don't faint. That's not, you know, you want to press. You want to get them thinking a lot of things of what you're going to throw. And then that'll give them misconception and give them false sense of, uh, you know, secure. Like, okay, no, he's just going to faint. But you actually throw the strike. Like that, boom. Boom, catch with the hook. As you can see, guys, see, I'm landing a lot of hooks on him. And I'm also nullifying his kicking because I'm pressuring him. Okay. Nice. You see how he opened? The second he got an opportunity to throw a body, I mean, a, a kick, he took it. And you can, I can tell this guy's a, a very good player. Because he utilizes and he takes advantage of the opportunities given to him. Nice. There we go. Okay. Body. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Nice. Like I said, you can see, man, I'm just in his face consistently. Giving him no space. Forcing him to box. Okay. Okay. And something that I personally like to do is uh, fake a hook to the body and then I slip. Because a lot of times you'll fake, they'll try to throw an uppercut, and um, and then they'll try to throw an uppercut and you can land a counter. But you also notice how this got through the hook, so he's already keen and ready for that nice high kick. We caught the kick to the body. You can see he takes advantage of any body roundhouse hit, or any time opportunity he gets to throw a kick. He takes advantage of it with TJ, as he should. We can go ahead and check the stats from that round. You guys can see he landed more significant strikes than me. Um, but I landed more than him, just one more strike. So it, this round possibly is his. And um, something else you can do with Jan. So if the boxing pure pressure isn't working, you can still kickbox CJ. Keep in mind that... Jan has a switch kick, so we're going to give him a different look this round. We're going, last time we gave him a boxing look, right? This round we're going to give him a kickboxing look. Boom. It's going to be, it's going to be different. He's going to be like, okay, now we have to adjust to his kickboxing. And that's something you guys can do in your fights as well, man. You know, I showed him a lot of kicks. I mean, a lot of punches. Now I'm going to show him a lot of kicks. Again, I'm Jan. He can do all of that. One, two, roundhouse to the body. Okay. And this thing is, if he decides to, um, he, if he decides he wants to box with me, I can box with him. There we go. Boom. Oh, that high kick hit his shoulder. There we go. So Jan is a really big problem for TJ, in my opinion. Okay, go high kick. Now he's trying to box with me. Again, this is my strong suit. This is my strong suit, is boxing. And he's trying to box with me, and that's what he's going wrong at. You got to kickbox with TJ. If you sit here and box Jan with TJ, don't get, wrong, don't get me wrong, you can. But you put yourself at a disadvantage. You can see how... The second we got to boxing, I get the rock in him. He got to kickbox me, man. 
and I'm keeping everything clean, close, and slow. Boom, flying, he landed. Nice. We're going to back up. And he's trying to pressure me a little bit. I can see that. Nice. Go to the body. Now, I'm going to actually stop throwing mini kicks because he is pressuring me. There we go. There we go. Because when, when someone's pressuring you and you throw kicks, you open up opportunities for them to... Did he just taunt in the middle of that combination? <laughs> you open up opportunities for them to, uh, you know, land kicks on you if they're pressuring you. Boom, go to the body. Go to the body. Push him back with the front kick, jab. Front hit, push him back again. And notice how I'm just consistently giving him different looks. I'm, I'm consistently giving him different looks. And he's actually doing some nice work to my body. He tried to throw the uppercut. Boom, jab across the brown house to the body. And that'll be the end of that round. Now, that was a really clean round from him and from me. As you can see, I threw 125 strikes. I went crazy that round. And then we're going to we're gonna dial it back going into round three. I don't want to gas too much. I'm uh, going to go back to a boxing slow type of pace fight in this next round. Because, again, we did some damage to TJ. And, uh, you know, it's going to add up. And we're just going to gradually take advantage of it. Now, you can see we did the jab, lead hook to the body. And a lot of guys ask, how do you land strikes to the body sitting still? You got to calculate them coming forward. Look at that. I'm calculating him coming forward. Three times I've landed that same thing. There we go. We drop him. We're actually going to jump on him try to get the finish. Because in rank, this is what you guys will do as well. And then we do get the finish here. And he does rage quit. But pretty sure that's to save his rank points so he doesn't lose too many. But I had more than him. So I don't think he would have lost a max amount of rank points. But, hey, it is what it is. GG. But this was a very good fight to show you guys how to use P. Arthur Yan and UFC 4 when going against TJ Dillashaw. Okay? But... With that being said, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next fight. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going against a um, Rob Font. Very good boxing. And I'm glad that I can actually get this match up here. And this one here, I'm not even going to the show. Respect, respect, respect. I'm not even going to pressure him. This is what he wants. His greatest advantage is boxing. If he can't do that, he's at a disadvantage. I know y'all are like, what? I'm not going to pressure Font. You can pressure front. Don't get me wrong. But take away what he's best at. Take away his boxing. Font isn't as great as you think he is. So we're Jan and he has amazing kickboxing. So we're not going to get into boxing exchanges with him for now. Unless we're forced to. We're going to keep it kickboxing. And I kid you not. Th this is going to be a very good game plan and then if your opponent is forces you to box guess what you're still at an advantage but you're still you would be at an advantage technically but you would still you know you would still be fighting to his greatest strength which is his boxing font doesn't have crazy kickboxing and you're going to see it here it's going to show why this matchup if you play the kickboxing style you can be very successful Push him back. And this is going to be frustrating. It's going to be extremely frustrating for him. Uh, I'm going to give him mixed signals with me trying to... Oh, oh, he's trying to box now. And I'm not. I'm not going to box with you, bro. I'm going to keep the fight. Um, I'm going to keep the fight. At a, at, you know, at a kickboxing type of style or how I want the fight to play out. Go to the body. And just give him a false sense of, you know, security or false sense of... Um, type of okay he has a read okay this is how pride's gonna fight and i'm not i'm just making you think this time i fight i don't really want to box too much with you but i'm gonna sit in boxing range but i'm gonna block in a second i feel like i'm you know putting myself at a point where i can be you know tagged up with strikes i'm gonna back up but as long as font fights this style right here he doesn't win he doesn't win this kickboxing style sorry Kick his legs. And I know it's a bit weird. You guys are like, bro, you're not pressuring with Jan. He's a pressure guy. 
you fight intelligent. It ain't about always fighting to your strengths. It's also about fighting to your opponent's weaknesses. Font is a very good boxer, not a great kickboxer. One, two, kick the leg. Just be annoying. Just be annoying. We check that kick. We check two kicks in a row. Continue being now. That even put this this puts us at an even greater advantage. Because now he switches stands. Rob Font switch stance isn't all that great. And um, you know, it hurts his power stat and stuff like that when his leg is weaker, which puts us at an even more advantage. Go to the knee, roundhouse to the body, and that's gonna be the end of round one. And I hope you guys are really learning learning something from this because it's just intelligent fighting. Look, he, he threw 84 strikes and landed 18 of them. You can take 18 and times it by four and it still wouldn't equal 84. Okay. Now he's pressuring. This is what his advantage is. It's boxing pressure. But we're not going to allow him to do that to us. Keep in mind, his lead leg, we check two kicks. And we've landed a couple kicks on of our own on him. There we go. Kick the leg. Front kick, push him back. And if he ever gets comfy in the pocket, we are still yawn. Push him back again. Low kick. One, two. There we go. Throw a lead over him. He switches stances now. Because that lead leg is chopped. I won't throw any more low kicks unless, you know, I just want to throw a, a lead low kick just to, just like a jab. Think of it like a jab. Boom, three piece in the pocket. Push him back. And this is a very frustrating style. Keep in mind, I can clinch him. He has level four elbows. You know, if he pressures too hard, I can clinch him and throw some elbows. Nice. But look at how frustrating it can be when you take away what Rob Font is best at and you don't fight to his advantages. And this is honestly something that I picked up on with uh, Fight Night Finest and also um, Malky Pablo. And this is coming from Fight Night. It's just, it was a different mindset with fighting to your, you know, maybe yes going against your advantage but it's also going against your opponent disadvantage i mean going against your opponent advantages as well and you know it's a stronger suit for you as you can see he's pressuring me now and I'm, I'm okay with that we can clinch him here okay push him back you guys can see he switched back to his uh southpaw stance because that lead leg is chopped get out the way and you can see how he I'm giving this Rob Font problems with me fighting in this style. Now, if I went into a style where I would just consistently box with him, you know, brawl with him, he would be at a, you know, he would be at an advantage in certain situations due to, you know, vulnerability, stamina advantage, stamina disadvantage. But I'm, I'm just fighting to, you know, what he's worst at and what I am uh, better at. You know, taking my plan B, which is kickboxing, and I'm using that as a plan A, and that isn't, you know, his strong suit. And things like that, man, is it's what elevates you as a player when you think about that. Because a lot of you guys would get use Yon and just brawl, just brawl, just brawl. But notice when I went against CJ, he's a better kickboxer than me. So what do I do? I turn into a boxer, but then I mix it up the game plans. Now it's like, okay, I, round one, I gave him boxing. Round two, I gave him kickboxing. Round three, I went back to the boxing. He didn't take me down at the end of that round. Not really sure why, but now this round, he threw 100 strikes, landed 31. Look at my stamina. Look at my stamina. Look at my head health. Look at my body health. Everything is fine. Nice. Man, I got rocked here, but I'm okay with going crazy. We rock him here. Overhands. He does have level four overhands, that's why I threw it, and then boom, we got him out of there. Level four overhand, and he was hurting. That's all it took. That is all it took, man. Hey, GG's, bro. GG's. 
G damn G's and honestly I'm not gonna lie I don't feel as if we need to do it another one I've shown you guys TJ and I showed you guys a kickboxer and I showed you guys a boxer and I don't want this video to you know drag along so I honestly think this is it I think this is it I'll leave it this to be the end again winning against a TJ kickboxer you know pressured him when he gets a boxer eat rob fine and i showed you guys how to deal with him so successful video of fights are back to back and actually the tj just called me out he called me a bum so i'm gonna get in another fight with him and i'll be sure to record that one and that one probably will go up today as well probably go up before this one <laughs> but hey hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to hit the like button if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe up really helps out the channel on the way to 60k and also hit the bell turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my streams or any of my uploads okay stay up stay blessed keep moving forward love you guys man